Steve here again with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me. All right, so we're going to talk about something I'm a huge advocate of, testosterone replacement therapy. And just so you know, uh, something that Nicole does is this is something that she really works with her clients with because this is a problem you had, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, for sure. So you went and got not only educated, got degrees in this area to help the gut and hormones. So that's why, you know, I wanted to talk to you about this. Um, there's a link in the description. If you guys want to know a company that I work with that I'm affiliated with, it's Royal Medical. Uh, the way it works is the first month's $195. The next month, the next five months, I think are $150 a month. And that includes all your medications. It includes your consultations and it includes your blood work. That's an amazing deal. Check out some other, I always recommend that you check out some other clinics also, and Nicole has some clinics too. And when we get to the end here, I'll, we'll talk about how you can reach out to Nicole, male or female, if you're having hormone issues. And a lot of times people don't know they're having, they know they have a problem, but they don't know it's a hormone issue, right, Nicole? Yeah, absolutely. This is, this is a, usually a big problem with a lot of people having, you know, very little to none to know hormones that are measurable that are giving you any use right and uh, you all know if you watch any of my social media channels you know that i'm on trt um i'm on a fairly moderate dosage but it's taken my uh total testosterone up high and my free testosterone so i'm a huge advocate and we were talking a little bit before we turned the camera on that if you do it right it, it makes only it's only common sense that, OK, if you increase your protein and you start lifting weights, you're going to lose body fat. Right. Absolutely. You're, yes. You're going to put lean tissue on. Right. Oh, yeah. What's that going to do for you? It, it's going to improve everything. So talk a little bit about that first. Yeah. So, you know, it's going to I see a lot of people nowadays uh, quite a few people actually that have fatty livers and that is going to help your organs. It's going to help you not have fatty liver, liver syndrome when you're not an alcoholic. It's also going to help the visceral fat around all the other organs. I'm a huge proponent of this as well done right as, as um, you had said, but there's a lot of people who come to me who have zero, you know, zero libido. They're, they're, bone mass density is is very low and testosterone helps with that their fat distribution you you have men who have a big belly but they have good good definition otherwise um you know then we can go into all the other things but tired fatigued all of that kind of stuff it's very integral and a man's testosterone should really be between 600 and 1100 other than that, and I'm seeing a ton of men come to me with their testosterone in the 200 range and their doctors telling them they're fine. It's horrible. And it's young men, some of the young yes. men in the 200s. And I'm like going, what? Yeah. You know, and well, and I think a part of that is after everything I see, that's diet. That's where they're getting their food from, their soil bases, all of those kind of things. All of it is junking up the system, which is going to pull down your hormones because you have to remember your hormones, including testosterone is made in your liver. So if you're bogging down the system with bad foods, bad oils, a bunch of sugary products, you know, you're a drinker or you don't sleep well at night, those kind of things are going to pull down the testosterone marker. And, you know, I just want to kind of circle back a little bit and talk about Here's, here's an obvious symptom to me. And I also want to say, we're not neglecting women here because my, my wife okay. has, um, has had low testosterone. Yes, and, uh, absolutely. She might be a little embarrassed about this, but, um, you know, she's getting her hormones right. And she probably, I'm sure she hasn't told you this, Nicole, but she's chasing me around the house. 
<laughs> she did tell me that the other day that she was chasing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She did. This wasn't on tape for the whole world to, to hear. Like, no, like no. Saying, so you're in trouble for that. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't watch a lot of my videos, so maybe she won't watch this one. But I'm like, oh, <laughs> who are you? What have you done to my wife? But, yeah. But her testosterone was in the toilet. So oh, yeah. I want to talk about a symptom that I see that's common. Not that I'm a doctor or anything, but, and I, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this can also happen for women, like after menopause, but all of a sudden, if you're doing everything, like you've always done it, let's, let's take a man, for example, and you're 40, you're 45, you're 50, you're, you're doing the same exercise, you're eating the same diet. And all of a sudden your body composition changes. All of a sudden your calories haven't got up and you're starting to get fat and you're going, what the heck? is going on that's a symptom right oh without a doubt i mean and this is coming from the woman's perspective too you know i everybody knows if you've been watching the videos i've had thyroid problems but that is a hormone and also it pulled down my regular hormones i do injections of testosterone estradiol and progesterone twice a week and it was maddening how much I was working out and I wasn't seeing any type of definition. So that's a huge symptom of it. If you're an avid gym goer, you're doing all the right things and nothing's happening, you might wanna check your testosterone. Right, now let's go back to women real quick. So my wife, why is she chasing me around the house all of a sudden? Well, her free testosterone was 0.5. I yes. talked to the doctor and I great. said, um, excuse me, doc, my wife is almost dead. Her yes. testosterone <laughs> is 0.5. That's yes. ridiculous. Yes. So this goes both ways for women. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think you and I talked a little bit about this before we turned this on. It's a little easier to get the men figured out than to get the yeah. women figured out. And my wife has been a tough one for you, right? She's been very difficult. Yeah, for I mean, not her herself, but her issues have been tough. There's a lot going on there. But we have made some huge movement in the hormone department. For sure. And contrary, yeah, and contrary to what men believe, women do want a libido. So that is a huge symptom of this. And it's not what we want to do is be telling our husbands no all the time. So that is a huge symptom. If you are if you're like don't even touch me. Like there might be a testosterone issue here. Right. And so you women, I say this all the time, don't discount this. Say, oh, I'm a woman. Yeah, I don't need, you need testosterone too. Yes. And women have yes. the same side effects that men have of low testosterone. So now, and my wife is 58. I'm, I'm telling, I'm just letting go with all the secrets, right? I'm 61 and now she's starting to get her hormones right. She's getting the testosterone right. And that didn't happen overnight for her. For a lot of men, yeah. it happens in a matter of a couple of weeks, you notice something. But yeah, that's a big symptom that I just wanted to bring out is um, that if your body composition is changing all of a sudden and nothing's different and you feel different and you're getting fat, that might be, well, that would be the first thing that I would check. Yeah. And, and, you know, Steve, that's a big deal because a lot of women's OBs, um, men are not being offered to test their hormones, which is in a whole it's, it's their estrogen, it's their progesterone, it's their testosterone should be all checked. You guys have that in you too. We need to check them all. So you know, you, us as humans need to be our own advocates that we go get these tested. There is no reason that a doctor should tell you no to testing your hormones. Absolutely not at any age. I have a 26 year old male that I'm dealing with right now that has a testosterone marker of 209. Wow. Something's wrong there. Whether, and that's what we're figuring out is so my point with this is, is that men and women should both absolutely demand their hormones be tested because it's not up to the doctor to decide without that kind of testing that they're fine. A 26 year old kid who plans on having kids should 
and is feeling like crap, can't put muscle on, is super fatigued, um, and is having like bigger breast size, that kind of stuff, but is in really good shape other than that. Okay, we got some hormone issues happening. So you want to take your symptoms and ask them for it. There's lots of other ways. I test hormones all the time through ZRT, that kind of stuff that we don't even need a physician to do. And you know, this is, this is really important too. You just said, I don't care if you're 20, get your testosterone checked. Here's why. If you get your testosterone checked and it's 800 and you're 20 years old, okay, that's good. But you know where your baseline is. Right. Because I have some friends that are my age that they have symptoms and their testosterone is 500 to 550, but they have all the symptoms of low testosterone. That's because 500 to 550 is too low for them. Their testosterone, when they were in their 20s and 30s, was probably 1,200 yeah. or... 1500 and now it's 500 that's way too low for someone now and the doctor's usually going to look at that unless they're a specialist and go oh you're fine your yeah. your symptoms aren't real yeah. um, yes they are because this person's testosterone might be cut in in down to a third of what it was exactly it, perfect point because i always tell my women also you know before you go in for a hysterectomy or anything, you should have a baseline of where we want to be in perimenopause and menopause. Just because you're in menopause does not mean that you're dead. So stop having a doctor tell you, oh, you're fine. You'll be fine with, you're supposed to have this in menopause. We're also not supposed to live this long. So it's a problem for our hormones. Yeah. And the reason you want a, a, a base point is so that you know you know and so now you have a reference point if you're 20 or whatever age you are when you have that reference point now you know oh my my testosterone's way lower than it wants to be right absolutely absolutely we should always have a base and do you know how many people who walk through my doors that don't have any kind of base but have massive problems so it's really hard to talk to a doctor about it's very difficult Yep. And sometimes the doctor just says, oh, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're in the normal range. But that doesn't mean it's optimal for you. It might be exactly. low for you. And, and that's, that's been the case and for, for many, many people, um, especially if you're older. And yep. if, you're, if you're 22 years old, you're not, going to, you're not going to get your hormones checked hoping that you can get on TRT because that's right. the last thing you want to do. That's the exactly. last thing that you... That's the last thing that you would try if you're in your 20s. You need to, I mean, we've done other videos on this, but you need to make sure your zinc, your vitamin D, and right. all your fat soluble vitamins and your are all right first. So you're not going to say, okay, I'm going to, I hope I'm low so I can get on TRT because you don't want to do that. You don't want to be doing injections from the time you're 22 for the rest of your life because exactly. that's what you're committing to. Right. Exactly. So you, you should know, but you should, but people, doctors also should, should see why a 26 year old is having these kind of symptoms instead of poo pooing them and saying, oh, you're fine. You're just, it's just, a, it's just your work schedule or, you know, you're eating too much sugar, which may be the case, but let's figure that out by having some baseline of some testing. Right. So Nicole, um, you guys know if, if you want to, find out more about my affiliate royal medical you can use the promo code uh, vitality one the link is in the description i gave a phone number there you can call them and use that and you'll get the 45 dollars off for five months uh, but nicole um you also do a lot of work in this area so if um they want if if the listeners want to get a hold of you they want to get nutrition uh, consultations or get into your program. How do they get a hold of you? They can send me an email at the gut girl one at gmail.com. And I will give a hundred dollars off. If you mention that you saw it on this YouTube video. Right. And that's the initial 
consultation work, read and all that so mm -hmm. um all right so that's a hundred dollars off if you're interested and just reach out to her if you're interested in knowing more about the areas that she covers so nicole thank you very much for being with us and we'll see you next time thank you for having me